What's up everybody, this is Bless Beats for Soundation. Today I'm gonna to show you how to export audio and MIDI tracks from FL Studio and lift them into Soundation so you can collaborate with your friends. Before we do anything, make sure to set the tempo to the same as that in FL Studio. I'll set FL to pattern mode and first show you how to export a single pattern and drag and drop it into Soundation. This is very simple. If you take a look in the arrangement view, you'll find the drum loop right there. Right click it and press quick renders audio clip. Now, if this window doesn't pop up, you can locate it up here in the picker. So make sure you're on audio clips and double click this. Now we can just drag and drop this loop in here and it should line up perfectly. Now let me demonstrate a pro tip here. Sometimes the tail of the audio might ring out past the loop. In that case, if you do a quick render, that tail will be abruptly cut off in the loop. Let me demonstrate this. This sound has quite the long decay, so you will hear the note ring out even into the beginning of this as it loops around. How do we deal with this? Well, instead of choosing quick render as audio clip, we can choose render as audio clip here. And this tail option gives us the power to decide whether we want to cut it right off or we want it to wrap around to the beginning of the loop. Now I just hit start and do the same thing. Double click this and drag and drop it. That's how you can solve that. Now let's say I wanted to export the stems, my entire idea here, and drop it into Soundation. First of all, we're gonna make sure our mode is set to song. Then we're gonna hover this bar up here, this darker bar, right click and hold the mouse down and make our selection. This is the selection that's gonna be exported. Next step is to keep track of which mixer tracks are assigned. This will define how our audio files get divided. For example, I might decide that I want all of my drum sounds on the same audio file. I can set them to the same mixer track. In this case, I want them all separated. Now you can go to File, Export, WAV File. Shortcut for that is Control R. Pick a folder and a name. This is gonna be the prefix for all of our WAV files. Hit Save, and then we get the same option here. Do we want to cut the remainder of the tail or do we want it to wrap around? I'll choose Cut this time, and this is the critical choice here. Split mixer tracks, you want this one to be selected. Now you can hit start. Locate your folder and you can see that these here are named after the mixer tracks. So if you wanted to stay more organized than that, you can actually rename these tracks. But let's lift these into Soundation and see what happens. It sounds a little funky and that's because we have the current selection rendered with all of the tracks in it so we get some phasing issues. We can delete that and if you have a master track in here too, you can delete that too. So we have only the separate stems that we decided on exporting. If anybody recognizes which song inspired this bass line, write it in the comments below. First one to get it right will get a premium account at Soundation. Let's have a look at MIDI. To export just one pattern, we need to be in the piano roll. You can access it by pressing the track right there or from the arrangement view by double clicking the clip. Now find this little arrow for the drop down menu, go to File, Export MIDI as File. You can see the keyboard shortcut there, Shift Control M. If you want to be a little quicker than that, save it. There we have it, ready to drag and drop. Perfect. Now to the last tip, how to export all of these tracks in MIDI. Before you do that, you want to actually save a copy of this because we're going to need to convert all the tracks to MIDI. So hit save new version here just to be on the safe side and keep a backup. Hit tools, macros, prepare for MIDI export. Okay, you can close all these windows down. Now let's go to File, Export, MIDI File. 
This up here and down here doesn't actually apply when you're exporting a MIDI file, so never mind that, just click start. Now we have all the MIDI tracks here from the entire arrangement. That's it for today. Make sure you hit subscribe, ring the notification bell with all notifications on for more tips like this in the future from the Soundation channel. If you need a cheat sheet for this, you can check out the blog post in the description below called A Guide to Cross-Daw Collaboration. Great resource. Cheers. Cheers.